Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. Let's talk about why I'm so excited about battery day. Many of you will already know, but I want to see just how many batteries Tesla will be able to produce and at what price, because it will be a game changer for Tesla vehicles, power walls and power packs and so on. So let's take a look at some of the predictions and rumors and what this could mean for Tesla's battery production, because this could be insane. So let's dive right in. Let's put our living stereo stylus in this groove. <laughs> Okay, this is all rumors and predictions, of course, so let's take this with a grain of salt. But let's have some fun thinking about what could happen on battery day tomorrow and what this could mean. Because if we look at the leaked battery, and we of course presume that this battery is Tesla's new battery cell, this will be a big leap forward for Tesla. Because as we have seen many people talk about, this could be a new 45 by 75 cell. That refers to the diameter of the battery. Compared to the old cell in the Model 3 and Y, that was only 2170 cells. We do not know if this size is correct. They could be a bit smaller, but it could also be a bit bigger. We have been hearing about a 5490 cell being talked about. That was the size I talked about in my last news episode. But let's just go with the size of 45, 75 cells and be a little conservative, but just remember this could be even better. So this size of the battery will give a roughly five times volume inside the battery, so it could in theory hold five times the amount of energy. This on its own is a huge deal. Then the 75 kilowatt hour battery in the Model 3 will suddenly go from 4000 battery cells to only 800 battery cells, meaning that Tesla would be able to produce the 75 kilowatt hour batteries maybe five times faster based on the size alone if the production speed is the same. And since it is not going into battery modules anymore but straight into the chassis, this will also make it faster to get batteries into the cars. But this new tapless battery will probably be much easier to produce as well and Tesla and Hybar Maxwell has probably come out with some whole new way of producing this much easier to produce battery, making them able to produce it much, much faster as well. So if we assume the battery will hold about five times the amount of energy, but it is also faster to produce. Let's just start off a bit conservative here and say they will be able to produce one battery cell twice as fast. But the new battery, of course, is holding five times the amount of energy. This is going to be a huge deal for the amount of batteries Tesla will be able to produce. That is going to make something in the similar size of the Nevada battery production line, which today produce about 35 gigawatt hour battery every year, able to produce 35 gigawatts, but now with five times more energy, so 175 gigawatt. But if they can produce them twice as fast as well, we are looking at something like 350 gigawatt hour production per year. 10 times the amount of battery capacity Panasonic is producing for Tesla today. So instead of 35 gigawatt hour, we are suddenly looking at the new factories that can produce 350 gigawatt hour. But what if they are also going to be able to make the footprint of this production line much smaller? Because the process will probably be much easier with the new tablet's battery. Maybe they could cut that in half as well but build the same size production line as in Nevada at the Giga factories. Because then we can take the 350 and multiply that by two and we will have 700 gigawatt hours of battery production a year at one factory. So it's not difficult to imagine that the huge Giga Texas will be a terra factory. Because what if they are building a battery production line that is even bigger or it's even smaller in footprint 
And what if they are able to produce the batteries even faster? Because if they are just three times faster to produce, and they will build something that is three times bigger or footprint than is three times smaller, but it will have the same size, then we are looking at three times 35, that is 105, and five times the energy, that is 525, and making the production line three times bigger, that is over 1,500 gigawatt hour of production a year in Gigafactory Texas, or 1.5 terawatt. Then things really start to look insane. And the amount of materials they would need for the battery are also going to be much much lower because they are so much bigger. So what all this will do for the price of the battery, I really don't have a clue except we're going to see battery prices drop significantly. And Tesla cars will suddenly become much cheaper. While the tablet's battery will probably be able to charge and discharge much faster as well. Meaning faster charging speed, meaning more power to the car and more energy back to the car from regenerated braking. That will result in a much more efficient car. And just wait a couple of years until they do the whole on the body in one casting and all the other stuff they are working on. And I don't think it's unrealistic that we will see a Tesla Model 3 for 20 to 25,000 in 2025 already. And then comes the Model 2 or whatever it would be called. And it is not just going to be a $20,000 vehicle as many have said. I think this one is going to be much cheaper, maybe $15,000 or maybe even as low as $10,000. Who knows? So anyway, we will get cheaper Teslas that are better in every way. And that is why we will probably hear about the new Tesla Model S and X plant version, which will be the first to come out with this new battery technology. And this will make the Model S a whole new kind of beast. If they can squeeze like 50% more batteries with this new battery technology, it is going to be some insane range, probably something between 500 to 600 miles of range. And the new batteries will probably be charging faster and put more energy out faster. So we will probably see a faster 0 to 60 time, maybe something like 2.1 second and be able to charge with over 300 kilowatts. This new one will definitely be more expensive than the Model S we know today. So maybe it will have a starting price something like 130 dollars to $150,000. But this car will crush all other competition out there, even the new Lucid Air. That is coming out next year. But I think Tesla will beat Lucid and come out with a new Model S before Lucid come out with their Air. Maybe Elon will even say, we are already producing it and you can order it now. That would be very exciting. And what is even more crazy, Twitter, connecting the dots, has been looking at all the videos and pictures of the new casting machine Tesla has put up in the Fremont factory, that everyone assumes is for the Model Y. But he have been measuring the pieces and they seem to be too big to be the rear part of the Model Y. He's guessing this could be a giga casting machine that is making the new Model S. This could be just so very exciting if this turns out to be true. Model S made with new battery and giga casting machine? Wow, this would be amazing. And this battery production will also be a game changer for the production of the Sema truck that is going to need so many kilowatt hours of battery storage in them. And of course the Cybertruck as well. And this will of course be huge for the power wall as well. If they can make a power wall that is half the price, suddenly it will become something that a lot of people can afford. And it will be a much more attractive solution because it will pay itself off much faster. But I think it will come in more different sizes then. So maybe they will stick with a 13.5 kilowatt hour power wall but cut the price in half and then maybe come out with something that have the energy that would be like ordering two or three old power wall because I think that is what most people order because one is just not enough for most homes. So they could come out with a power wall that has two times more energy than the old power wall but still the same price as the old power wall. This could be huge for Tesla's energy business as a whole. Just think of the power packs and mega packs that are already good business cases today. 
as we have seen in so many locations around the world. If they will also drop to half the price as well, the demand for these battery power plant is going to skyrocket. And with the pace of Tesla, all this could be able to take off within the next year or so. Starting small in Fremont and then all the other factories coming online within a year or so. This will make Tesla huge. Well, it's all very, very exciting. And luckily, we only have to sleep one more time to get all the answers. So stay tuned to hear much, much more about Battery Day. And if you want to hang out together tomorrow on Battery Day, join me. I will be live streaming the event while I'm reacting to it. It's going to be my first live stream, so I'm going to be ready like 15 minutes before, checking that everything is running smoothly, and we can live chat a bit, and then I'm going to make myself very small and not talk too much, and then we're going to watch Battery Day together. Can't wait for this big event. I hope it will not disappoint. And join me tomorrow for a live stream. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps this video out a lot. And if you did like it, maybe you want to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos just like this one. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. And if you want to support me even more, remember you can for as little as $1 become a patron of the show and get your shout out here on this channel. All the names you see floating by right now are my amazing Patreon producers of the show. You can go to patreon.com slash Tesla and see all the perks in there and choose your level of support and get your name on this list. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care there and be nice.